Tickfinity's new Streamerbot plugin is the most powerful TikTok Live plugin that I've found. Streamerbot can control quite a few different programs when your TikTok viewers trigger an event such as a gift or a sub. Let's get this set up, including some examples. Those include making changes to things like Smart Lights, Discord, Twitch and YouTube streams and more. So we're effectively going to follow the written setup guide here and I'll put this in the description if you want to follow along. And we'll start by setting up Streamerbot. What I'm going to recommend is on your desktop, right click new folder and name it Streamerbot. I've already got mine and I'll link it in the description. Go ahead and download Streamerbot and place the zip folder into your new Streamerbot desktop folder and then extract it. You can use the Windows Extractor or WinRAR, which I'll also put in the description. You should end up with something looking like this. If you sort it by size, you just have to double click streamerbot.exe to open it every time. A quick note, my antivirus for some reason did restrict some of the files, so make sure you allow any of the files if your antivirus tries to block them. So once you've got Streamerbot open, we need to start with the setup and connect it to Tickfinity. So I'm gonna click on server and client at the top, click onto WebSocket server, and you can see mine's already running, but make sure you auto start and you can leave it as the default 127.0.0.1 port 8080, the endpoint's just a slash. Start the server, run the auto start, and then let's head over to the Tickfinity desktop app. So if you're not on the desktop app already, I'll link that in the description. So switch from the website to the app and let's click onto the setup page. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna look for streamer bot connection. And basically, the three things here need to match the three that are typed in this box. So mine's matching. I can now test the connection and you can see it's successfully established. Let's now do some Streamerbot setup as well. I'm going to click onto platforms. And if you want TikTok events like gifts, subs, follows, etc. to trigger something in your Twitch, YouTube, Trovo or Vstream live stream, then you need to connect your accounts for those sites. So on the Twitch tab here, click onto accounts. And you can see I've connected my main account as both a bot and broadcaster. Likewise for YouTube, click onto the account section. And if you want your YouTube live stream to be affected by TikTok events, you could sign in here. At this stage, you might still be wondering what is the point of setting this up? Well, click onto the actions page and let's just make a quick test action. So underneath the actions area, right click add. I'll literally just name this test. You don't have to change any of the defaults and I'll press OK. Now, if I right click this sub actions area, if you hover over literally anything here, this is everything Streamerbot can do. And you can see there is a lot of different things on this list, especially on this integrations section which lets you control a lot of different programs. So you can effectively trigger any of these things based on a TikTok event, like a gift or a sub. So let's look at some examples now. And as Zeradi's written on the information page, all of this stuff here gets passed to Streamerbot. So for example, gift name, Streamerbot knows the name of the gift that you've just received. So for our first Streamerbot example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Twitch or YouTube chat when we receive a large TikTok gift that is a thousand coins or more. We're gonna type a message that encourages the Twitch or YouTube viewers to come into the TikTok stream and thank the gifter. So we start this on Streamerbot, then we'll switch over to Tickfinity. If you haven't already, right click in the actions area and press add. I've named mine Twitch message large gift and you don't have to press anything else, just press okay. And the trigger, we always leave that blank because the trigger comes from Tickfinity. So we just need a sub action. So I'm gonna right click into the sub action area, head to Twitch. And there is a lot of different options here, but we'll find chat and we'll choose send message to channel. Now I've linked both the same account for bot and broadcaster. I suggest you set it to bot and this is our message. So we're gonna head back to the guidelines and we're gonna copy and paste some of these parameters. So firstly, I've just typed out an example message so I can kind of understand what we want. So here's my example message. Harry sent to Galaxy on TikTok, comment to the stream to say thanks, then with a link to the TikTok live stream. Actually, I didn't do that right. I've got to add slash live and then we're linked to the TikTok live stream. So your profile and then just slash live will always link to the live stream. But of course, these are placeholders. We need to replace Harry, the number and the gift name. So let's do that now. If we head back to the documents, so we can choose the at handle or the display name. I'll choose the display name. So I'll just copy that and we'll head back and replace my name with the nickname. And we want the repeat count for the gift. So in my example, I put two, so I'll replace the number two. And of course, we now want the gift name as well, which is this one. 
So that just helps you visualize it. And we're all done now, so let's press OK. That's the stream about Psy complete. Let's head back to Tigfinity. Let's make an action. Now we're just gonna focus on the stream about section for this. You might, for example, want to trigger an alert and put the message on the screen when they send a large gift. And I'll put my longer guide in the description. But if we check the stream about action box, you can now see we've got Twitch message large gift appearing. And I've named it the same at the top. The display duration's not really relevant just because I'll set it to one second. I don't wanna repeat this one with gift combos. This is a one-off message and I'll press save. And now we need an event. And of course, this is an event for a thousand coins or over. So everyone can trigger it. And it is sending a gift with minimum coins value. And we're going to set it to a thousand. Trigger all of these actions. That is, of course, the Twitch message. We're not going to randomize anything and we'll press save. And of course, the great thing about Tickfinity is you can test it. So I'm on my Twitch here. Let's head back into Tickfinity and let's go to the bottom and simulate a large gift. So I'll just scroll down the list or you can type a gift name in. I mean, let's just pick the galaxy since we mentioned it earlier. Let's press simulate gift. We head back into the Twitch stream. And lo and behold, as you can see, test user sent one galaxy on TikTok with a link to my live stream. Next up, let's send a message into your Discord server when you go live. There's not actually a Tickfinity event for going live, but there is for a command. Let's set up a chat command that only your mods can type into the TikTok live chat. And when it's triggered, it types in your Discord saying that you're now live. As per usual, we start on Streamerbot, then move to Tickfinity. Underneath Actions, click Add. I've named mine Discord going live Noti and press OK. And now we need a sub action. I'm going to right click, head to Integrations and choose Discord and Basic Webhook. And this is the point we need to pick which Discord channel you send the message into. I'll just send it into my bot channel as a test on my Discord. So find your correct Discord channel and click the settings cog next to the channel and then click on integrations. We're gonna find webhooks and new webhook. You can see I've now got one named Spideybot, which we'll edit. I'm gonna name mine Streamerbot. You can be more precise if you're gonna have multiple webhooks and press save changes. If you really want to go all out, you can replace the profile picture. Anyway, we're going to copy the webhook URL now, and we're going to head back into Streamerbot and Control V into the webhook URL box. Next up, I've typed a message into the box here, which just said, Harry is live, come join with the link to the live stream. Of course, you might want to add an at everyone if you want. And I'm going to name the webhook again, Discord going live, no E, the username. And once again, go call this streamer bot. I'm not going to put anything in avatar, URL or image. That will instead just show us the profile picture we've set here. And now I'll just press OK on that one. And streamer bot's now set up. So back to Tickfinity we go. Create new action on the actions and events page. Again, we're repeating ourselves, but type Discord going live, no E, or whatever you want the name to be. Scroll down, streamer bot action, Discord going live, no E. Once again, the duration doesn't matter, so I'll just set it to one second. Again, this is not even related to gift combos, so we can leave all the other defaults and press save. And underneath events, create new event. For me, crucially, I want this one mod only, so any moderator, because of course, otherwise, some viewers could just spam my Discord with messages. So any moderator, and it is commenting a command. And let's make it exclamation mark live noti, or maybe just exclamation mark live, but we'll leave it like that. Of course, all of these requirements you could set, but we've already set it to mod only, so we're just gonna leave those on zero. And of course, the action being triggered is the Discord going live noti. Again, not randomizing anything and press save. And we can't test this with the event simulator, but we can test it up here. So let's press the play icon here and go into my bots channel. And here we go from Streamerbot. Harry is now live, come join. Again, don't forget, by the way, you can pass all of these variables. So for example, if you're notifying Discord, when you get a gift, you would again, just double click it. And you can see just as a test, I've done it here. I've pasted in the gift name. So again, if you need these variables, this is the guidelines, which I'll put in the description. So I know some of you have smart lights. I don't actually have any set up right now, but let's quickly look at how you can trigger some smart lights. So right click, add in Streamerbot. Not just smart lights, by the way, any smart device. So I'll just name this quickly smart device and press OK. Underneath sub actions, you right click. 
And we're going into integrations and Lumia Stream, and you would need a smart device that is compatible with Lumia Stream. You then, of course, create an action which links the smart device one, and it looks like I actually typed it wrong. And you would make an event for it. For example, if you want the viewers to send a rose to trigger it, it would be a specific gift. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't specifically own any smart devices or have Lumia Stream set up, but I thought I would put that in the video because I know some people do have it. Next up, it's actually possible to use Streamabot to type into your TikTok chat. Although let's be clear, it's still typing from your TikTok account. But anyway, let's follow the instructions outlined by Zeredy here. So we're gonna start on the chatbot page. And of course you wanna activate the chatbot and then more crucially, allow Streamabot to push messages to Tickfinity. So on Streamabot, we always start here, right click actions, add. I'll just name mine chat message test and press okay. And under the sub actions, core, and then argument and set argument, we're actually going to add two sub actions this time. And the variable name has to be message, and then value is what's going to be typed into your chat. So this time, let's thank somebody for subscribing. So once again, I'm in the documentation and I'm going to copy and paste either username or nickname with the percent symbols either side. So I'll copy and paste nickname and say thanks for subbing with an exclamation mark. We are going to auto type. I'm going to press OK. Again, there's a second sub action now. And for this, again, we're going to go back to the documentation, which is in the description. And we need to copy and paste this code. So I'll just copy it carefully. And core C and execute, well, C sharp, execute C sharp code. And highlight all of this code and control V the new code and save and compile. Now you can see there is a little bit of delay and now it's appeared. Of course, unfortunately, we do have to be live to test this, but we haven't finished setting this up anyway. So let's head back onto Tickfinity. Again, make sure chatbot is turned on with allow streamerbot messages turned on. And then let's head to the actions and events page. So we're doing this for a sub. So create a new action. I'm going to name mine new sub. Scroll down, streamerbot action. And again, this is the correct one. So where is it? This is chat message test. I suggest you probably rename it to something better than I've got. Again, I'm just going to change the duration to one second. The other options are all fine. So I'll press save. Let's make a new event now. And this one's triggered by a subscribe and the action is a new sub. Again, we're not randomizing anything, so we'll press save. And if you are live, you can simulate it by pressing the simulate sub button. Of course, we can't simulate a chat message without being live because it's not like Twitch where you have an offline chat. All right, there's now a cat version of me on screen because we're now going to look at VTube Studio and Streamabot. By all means, I'm not a VTube Studio expert, so I'll put a longer general guide in the description, but that one doesn't cover TikTok Live. But the basics here on VTube Studio, I'm going to click on the settings cog. I'm going to scroll down and make sure the API is running on port 8001. Go back into Streamabot. We're going to find integrations, VTube Studio, localhost 8001, auto connect and press the connect button. You'll then get a prompt inside VTube Studio to allow the plugin. And then now if we go back to actions, right click, add, make yourself an action. You can see I've made one called VTube Studio test under the sub actions. It is integrations VTube Studio. And for our example, let's just, when they send a specific large gift, let's make it TikTok universe just because let's change the model. So let's load model. And I'm just going to randomly pick one of these models and press OK. And let's look at the example in Tickfinity, what I just said. So actions and events and create a new action. I've named mine TikTok Uni Change Model and Streamabot Action. We're going to find the VTube Studio test. Again, name it something better than I've done. Again, just for practice, I'm going to name it to a one second display duration, but it doesn't really matter. And we'll press save. And underneath the events, it is a specific gift. For us, it's going to be a TikTok universe. For some reason, it's appeared twice, but I'll select one of them. And then you trigger all of these actions. It is the change model and press save. And let's scroll down and simulate this. So again, I'll find the TikTok universe. Hopefully this is the correct one. We'll press simulate gift. And if I go into VTube Studio, you can see I've gone from a white cat to a black cat. So again, I'll put a longer guide for VTubing in the description. So you can also use Streamabot to write to a text file. So let's try and create a fun example. Let's make some closing credits where we list every new follower and every new gifter on the screen when we end our live stream. It's basically going to pull a text file. 
So how do we make the text file? Well, underneath actions, right click add. I'll name mine closing credits and press OK. Sub action, we're going to go on core file IO and write to file. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to choose where to put it. I'll just randomly stick mine in the downloads folder. I'm going to right click new text document. I've named it closing credits.txt and we'll double click on it. For some reason it says it already exists, you want to replace it. So I'll press yes. And now we've got it selected. So in text to write, this is the text that's going to go into the file. Before that, make sure you append to file. What we actually need to do here is make one which writes the name of new followers and another which writes the name of new gifters. Let's do the new follower one. I'm just going to type new follower colon and then we want their username. Ignore this list of stuff here and again head back to the documentation and again you want either the nickname or the username. Let's go with the nickname so we'll copy it including with the percentage symbols. We'll go back to Streamerbot and paste that in. I'm just going to add a space afterwards as well just in case and we'll press OK and let's head back to the actions and events page. I'll name this new follower credits. I should probably say new follower closing credits and we're going to trigger the streamer bot action which is closing credits. I would actually rename the streamer bot action to closing credits new followers because we will be making a second one. Again, display duration is not too relevant, but I'll set it to one second and we'll press save. Create the new event that is triggered by a follow. And of course, new followers closing credits is the action. We're not randomizing it and press save. And let's scroll down and just simulate a follow. And then just go ahead and open up your text file. And as you can see, successfully test user is now appearing in this file. So let me close it again. And I've reopened it again and you can see it does add it on a new line, which is great. But of course, we want new gifters in our closing credits as well. So I'm going to right click closing credits and first just rename it. I'll name it closing credits new followers, then right click add and we'll name this one closing credits. If I can type properly new gifts, we'll press OK. Then again, right click core file IO right to file. Click on append to file, click the three dots and find your closing credits and press save. Again, text to write is what we're going to write here. So again, I'm just going to manually type it out. So it'd be something like Harry sent to Galaxy. So again, we have to replace all of these three parameters. So let's start by replacing the nickname. Again, I've already got that one highlighted. So we'll replace the nickname here and then the number of gift. This is called the repeat count. So we'll copy the repeat count. And then of course we need to copy the gift name as well. I'm opening the wrong tab. We need to copy the gift name, which is this one here. And so we'll replace galaxy and I'll put a little dot and a space at the end as well and press okay. Now we switch back to Tickfinity and once again, set this up. So I'll call this one new gift closing credits. Scroll down, stream about action. It is the closing credits new gift. Once again, one second, doesn't matter too much and press save. And now we need an event. So create a new event. If you want it for all gifts, sending a gift with min coin value and just add it to one. Of course, raise the number if you don't want it for all gifts, new gift, closing credits and save. Just quickly, in my example, I would actually have to also assign it to this one if I want it to go into the credits for all of the gifts. If you want this to work, by the way, make sure you have all of the text files closed. Only open it afterwards if you want to check. So let's test it now underneath the event simulator. Just find a gift name and press simulate gift simulate simulate gift and again just make sure the text file was closed if we reopen it now you can see it's now added it to the list now how do we get the actual closing credits well again let me close it and you're gonna have to use obs for this but you can use the virtual cam and send it to live studio depending on whether you're just using the regular canvas or atom vertical either way just add a source and the source is text I've named it closing credits. We're going to read from a file, click on browse. We're going to, of course, find the correct file, which is closing credits.txt. You can see it's now pulled it up. I'll just press OK and we'll click on it and we'll resize it to bring it down a little bit. Actually, let's just make it full screen like that. But then what we're going to do, I'm going to right click filters and click the plus button and add some scroll. And of course, we want vertical scroll. And you just drag the bar up to get whatever pace you want. And if you want it like proper credits, then don't loop it. It just scrolls once and it's gone. 
And of course, that would look better with more gifts and follows. So I'm just going to spam click here, basically, to make it look better. Let's spam click a few times. And I've hidden it, and I'll show it again. And now you can see it looks even better now that I've spam clicked. We've got some nice closing credits. And of course, you can double click and make them look better by changing all of the different colors, fonts, etc. Here, you can see I've just changed it red, for example. And by the way, if you don't know how to send this from OBS to Live Studio, I'll put the virtual cam guide in the description. And if you're not too familiar with Tickfinity in general, I'll put my entire Tickfinity guide on screen now.